other avenues to open up in this pistol. Fast Xbox Smoke getting thrown in. And so maybe looking like one of these cat splits out of the gate. Team Liquid think the same thing. They've got heavy on the cat stonks. And Elyse makes first contact. Now there's a lot Whoa. more around that corner. The flash is good to set up Elyse, but he'll make out like a bandit after one. Yeah, and that's really put things to a slow pace now. You may have Hampus out long, but it's not much he can do with a Glock here on his own. He would even prefer a PT-50 just to take those range fights. Nip trying to send it right down middle. Stewie meets them there. Wow, three kills, three headshots in a second from Team Liquid, and it's all down to the lone long man, Hampus. What can he do? Nothing. It's deleted by Grimm, and that's, that's a pistol round, all right? That's Amore. Eh? Pistol on the board, and Liquid laughing. Yeah, they are looking really, really good, man. I love how... Yeah, I just can't get over the confidence that they're showing, mate. The, the sheer amount that they throw themselves into fights, even opening the pistol, flashing a liege down the catwalk, it all just exudes a team that's here to win, right? Not doubting themselves anymore. Hopefully not burdened. With chokes gone by, and, well, here's Fallen continuing oh. his dominance, this time with the Scout, the baby orb popping off to open up against the pistols. It is just a little Glock round, so it was never going to be too special, and it's quickly laid to rest by Team Liquid. Now the guns come through for NIP. Nice and early on. Bonus round on the horizon for the Liquid side. And so let's see... What Hampus has been cooking up for this first rifle round. God, those are some naughty scout shots. Fallen's orping was excellent in that first map as well. Just decking device. So, got to hope device can recover once the AWP does come out. I say recover device. Device played well. Just in a matter of head to head orb. Oh, still he got spotted. Okay. Now he should be dead. Or at the very, very least, Hampus can get weird with the timing. Stewie and Hampus, they've lost each other. Oh, and finally, something. Hampus is able to find his mid-man. Now, Fallen dies over on A. And the rest of Liquid push through the tunnels. You know it's not B, but that's only half the battle here. That spray does so much damage out of Elise. The nades going in, hoping to find a kill. The Molly at least denies a bomb plant for the time being. I'm looking at Naf, I'm looking at his nade, and with the damage done by Elyse on these crossing players, that nade could be brutal. If you just wait for the plant sound, and he lobs that in, you could find something here. They do exactly that. Ooh, nade onto big. Linus, and he's knocked out of the round. Still not easy. And with Grim dead, it's all onto Nafly. There's the first. Flash is good, and there's the peak on the back of it, no. but he wrestles with the Famous and he regains control. Naf, now just Device left to beat. There's Kits in CT. Device is playing a very long angle. Naf needs to bait this peak out of him somehow, some way. Tap on the bomb, hoping that that will draw Device into his crosshair, but now he's given up the aim ah. of the game, and there's Device to nail the closer. He gets it over the line, but it ends up being a very, very close round. And IP having to reinvest on four. And with that being a bonus for Team Liquid, they, they could look to buy here. It's going to have its fair share of limitations. But they're able to keep that pressure on. Oh, good to see Device holding on their scary situation. You know, as Naf gets this, both players are 20 and 10 health, right? A shot will do it. Device goes wide to win the round. Fallen's got his orb out as well. No armor, just trying to take names in middle. Oh my goodness, he's looking for that cross. He can't see it. Instead, sets up for lower. He's still very open to T-spawn. Thank goodness no one's peeking it. Back to B he goes with a bit of a read, I suppose. Hampus is lurking long. And with no cat take yet, that only leaves B. So Liquid are all set up at the right place, given the info they have. Nip, though, now throw a spanner in the works. That hinge spo uh, smoke coming down makes you wonder if Nip have more control than they do. Hampus is trying to sell that fact as his team set up outside B. Bomb even dropped back passive to make sure Liquid don't figure that out on an aggressive play. But they're about to find out the hard way. Liquid is still really suspicious, though, about this tunnel's push. They're starting to aggro Ooh. in, and there's Stewie and Fallen How? lining up the B play. Shot, shot through Stewie's legs. I have no idea. Fallen not making Stewie. One and that way. is just pulled the round away from you if you're nip. 
You don't even know about this third man still in the sight in NAF, and so you're going to have to come up with an entirely new game plan here. 30 seconds left, and if this is all meant to come in at the A bomb site, it's going to be down to the wire. Is this just a save with three players still alive? It looks like it. Device isn't yeah. going anywhere I, I fast. Mean, what else can you do, right? You know you haven't done anything to draw a rotate, so there's still loads of A control for Liquid. You've seen a triple B. And so you go, no, actually, uh, I want nothing. I, I don't have the util to make any kind of play happen. We could flash long. We could do one smoke on the cross. It won't change anything. It's sadly the right call. In a lot of these rounds now, in the mid round, Team Liquid have grouped up with three towards that B site and tried to push the tunnels with like two guys going in and one player hanging back in the site itself. I wonder if that's something that's going to keep up. As I say, they've attempted it twice and we're only four rounds in, but both times they've gotten results from it. At the very, very least, you get the info. Best case scenario, you get what happens there, which is this crazy lineup. Yeah. I still cannot figure oh, out yeah. how Fallen got the got the second guy. Yeah, crazy, right? It looked like Stewie was just in his crosshair there, so completely uh, denied. So is Hampus. Peek down through T-Spawn. Fallen takes the kill. Don't know how that happened with Device not uh, finding him. Maybe he fired onto Naf instead, uh, as he's already tagged on the cross. So good timing for Fallen there. And I mentioned this head-to-head. -head. I know Device doesn't have the AWP yet, but uh, the numbers are in. And it Fallen was 4-1 and one against Device to his favor. Device went positive against everyone except Fallen and Elige. No one went positive against Elige, unsurprisingly, with the game we just got out of him. So, Device given a pistol, got a backup weapon. And they'll be backing it up right into B, through middle first. Liquid leaning 3A. Don't have a CT player in position yet. They're double cat to aggress. That lets them flank, but they might not need to. Liquid are coming to them yet again. Oh, now they hear the utility and still he's like, actually, no, I don't want to peek this. He knows he's in for the long haul. He's just going to fight till his last breath over in middle and it comes quickly. There's Naf there for the leash, pushing, smokes, mows him down. And Team Liquid are off to the races, on to four. Breaking apart that four spy with the saved guns still in place. And now the money is gone again for NIP. This scoreline's going to get even sweeter for Team Liquid. Yeah, right. It's got a hook in It feels like you're just being red at every corner, right? The aggressive B tunnels play. Now that, that mid setup comes just at the right time. They were they were double cat. They were pushing up. Elige dropped off right at the, the, the perfect second to trade out Stewie and Naf in middle there. And Liquid 4 to 1. Fallen keeps going for this audacious mid fight. He might get something out of it as well they're boosting up for cat and he hits a leg through the box as well rather not a leg but a tag it's eight health for hampers barely standing uh, uh, tall i was gonna say still but he's not strong still maybe. strong yeah. i thought that was it yeah but... maybe that was the word who knows what's going on in my head certainly not me oh, oh. dude fallen just doesn't feel any fear in this game oh. Oh my that. god, he tagged him and then the molly finished. Another. The oh, He's just fallen. laying them up. Fallen is looking so crisp right now. Ooh. Maybe we stop peeking. <laughs> maybe we stop giving Fallen all these chances. Or maybe we give him more chances, question mark? Yeah. Oh, Hampus gonna get that sweet old revenge. Fallen on the receiving end of the deeg, and that's him knocked out of the round. But as is often the case with this Liquid squad, where you deal with one, there's more waiting in the wings. Stuart 2K over here in the mid doors. There's the first two device. They know about him now, but he's got support. And even oh! though Hampus' deagle is delivering, how realistic is this round? Three for him. Smoke for the cross, but he's going back, trying to get tricky with it. These have been some really nice digs, but it's going to take two more on top of the three you've already nailed. Grim still waiting. Flash goes oh. over, and he will finally deal with the problem that was Hampus's dig. Five on the board for Team Liquid, but Hampus at least makes that a very expensive round. Yeah. It goes from looking like it was going to be squeaky clean to squeaky bomb time. Oh my goodness, Harry. Hampus, these are impeccable shots. My God. Don't nerf that. 
Just nerf the body shots, not the head shots. Don't nerf hampers, not with rounds like that coming through. That's pure, unadulterated skill. AWP out for device. We've been waiting for it, and it's met with two from Team Liquid. Stewie and Fallen both wielding these weapons. Fallen's in the right place, and Stewie's here at the right time. This could be the orb crossfire. They smoke hinge, though. Stewie can only see legs, and they won't give him that. Jumping up the safe side. Oh, he goes for a timing oh. shot based off nothing but feeling, and it won't connect. Fallen's will have to. Yeah, it's a very deep angle for Fallen. I like that. Trading mollies uh, enables him to stay in this position. He doesn't need to go through the motions. He doesn't need to fall back, get to car, get to corner, get to goose. No, he can just stay in the same spot. Their molly is now ended. Oh my god, he's swinging now after the flash. Oh, oh my what? god, I didn't see anyone. I didn't see Hampus who tagged Fallen. I didn't see... How is he doing it to it him? It didn't even look like he hit. Like, like that was a headshot. It didn't even look like he moved his mouse off what? that pixel. Fallen is, is just on one right now. This Ooh. is prime Fallen Counter-Strike. Yep. And now as he waits over here at the crossroads, he's got a liege tucked in at the site. Grim is still covering his long. So this double hold of a liege and Fallen, it's a scary twosome to run into. Flash is going over and Nip might just leave. They might decide, actually, boys, you know what? I do not want to be on the receiving end of that orb. But guess what? There's two of them, baby. Stuart over here in middle. Sends them packing, and with 10 yep, seconds, another Nip are left to save again. How often do you see this? This is like two full gun rounds for Nip, where it's just been out of the question, like out of the options here on this T side. You know, if anything, you wonder if Stewie uh, firing that first shot through the mid smoke baits him into the A play because they go, oh, the AWP, the AWP is leaning B. Fallen's been playing the same angle every round. He's been fighting from mid, B side, uh, just anything away from these, these slow, B crawls, taking cat, walking into dry orbs. Unfortunately, dry is how it will have to be for now. They just don't have the util. Four flashes, one smoke is all they bring to the table. It's a shooting gallery for this double orb right now. But first, Grim with the weather. Oh, Flash is throwing from middle, but they're not going to blind Grim here. So he's given a free chance at that fight. Now, Elise has got to get out of danger because they've lost this long control. This might leave you in a spot where you're feeling pressured to try and take Catwalk. And I wonder if these three players grouping in middle are going to attempt that. Oh, Rez with the taps. He's at it again, but Fallen and Elise are quick with the left and right hook, the response. And even though Nip had all this long control, they were still obsessed with trying to fight for middle. This has given time for Team Liquid to push and clear the catwalk. As I was saying right now, you don't care that they've got long because guess what? You've got cat, you've traded places. And Elise doesn't even have to fight this. This is just confidence on the guy looking for these engagements. There's no smokes to get across, but the orbs aren't watching it yet. Elise dead to res. It's a little bit ugly. Oh. He's going to get thrown over. But... Oh. oh, it's a weak throw on res. It's a very weak throw. And there's the re -peak from Fallen on the short side. Res needs to hit the gym, man. That is a... That is a <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> the bomb normally can like topple over to the other side. And this man said the orbs don't have the cross. <laughs> yeah, you wonder there, right? When they get that kill on Grim, you wonder the reason that Nip back up is because they're expecting to see the orb on A, right? Because the orb has been wherever they go. And funnily enough, they rotate back into mid. Elige does a, dully, uh, a double molly combo to get Catwalk. And both the orbs are sitting in middle off of a B rotate. Both the orbs are fighting Nip as they leave long. So they find that out the hard way. It feels oh. like Nip are oh. getting very unlucky with some of these reads. So uh, a fast B oh, play one, looking to be in order. Yeah. And finally, you've got a chance because it's only Nafly here. Stewie is actually crossing. He's often been that second player in B. He's crossed the CT side of spawn. So Naf has got to get a couple here. And it's only one from him. Stewie now up in the window waiting for a flash. Peaks Ooh. on the back of it. It's a tag to Rez. While this is happening, Elise takes the tunnel and now takes what? heads off. The B play has been shut down. Bye -bye. And should do it. Whoop! And there it is. Three in the round for a lead. They put a stop to the B rush. Liquid. This is the liquid we've always wanted to see, it feels like. Eight and one. And Nip feel like they can't catch a break.
Yeah, that's uh, that's probably the mindset right now. We've got another full buy. Nip, they make a close eco happen, but at this point, you're not worrying. You're not talking about close rounds. You just need wins, man. That was the same case to start Inferno on that city side. And Elise, what a fast flank, not even being considered. Nades to close, orb tags, and even with a solo B effort and only one kill out of nap, you feel like that's maybe the way in for Nip. It's not. Orb down middle, fallen up on catwalk with the boost as well. Very quick in position, but he couldn't pick a side, pick a, an angle to hold, and so he'll have to give it up. Tag down low. Finally, Nip. They push back the orb with success. Grim gets spotted, and he gets out along alive. Feels like liquid. Cats right now. More lives than we can count. More nades up cat as well. Plus, like, Fallen knows he's getting given a lot of respect. Like, even at the start of this round, he he takes that shot, misses, doesn't drop off, though. He hangs around on the catwalk because he just doesn't think they're going to re-peak him. And so now Liquid is set up with three over here in A. Fallen is quick repositioned with the AWP to hold these mid-doors. Nip throwing in a full cat exec. They're going to have to get past the liege. And Naf, oh. terrible twosome. And there's Nafly with the opener. Out through middle, crawl the remainder of Nip and Fallen. Right. Don't let your attention get drawn away at the wrong time. Stewie and Fallen need to hold Nip with the orb. No. So Fallen goes running Hit through. Two. Now he is dead after one, but it's a collateral. And Stewie now having to hold off at the B site. They're coming from everywhere. Oh. This shot, and there's the door up. Stewie removed from the round. Grimm's trying to come in with a big flank through the tunnels, but if you give a kill to this device AWP, that might force a save. <gasps> oh, like Please, that kill's going to entice you back yeah. in all of a sudden. Device was not ready for an orc to be on that angle. He was not thinking about what? that. And now this tunnel's wrap has flushed out another. Plopsky all alone, and Elise is going to find him. It's a two on three retake at the B bomb site. You normally don't even see those attempted, let yeah. alone one out. Devices feels like he needs to get involved, right? He needs to he needs to cut them down. He takes a repeat. He takes the advantage, and Elite swaps it right back. Fallen's damaged as well, right? He gets a collat on his shot as he runs through the mid smoke and tags Plopsky, who's finished off by Elite. It does come into play. Another tunnels flank, Harry, that is not even considered. This one comes from long to T-spawn. Last time it was Elite dropping cat to lower. Grim is so quick in the behind. Linus is not ready, not watching it, and that's twice now on. B plays out of the two times you've got the bomb plant that you have been backstabbed. You can't afford to keep happening for Nip. Falling apart at the seams and liquid. Absolute scenes. Elige is also keeping it up, Harry. 13 and 2. As if the first map wasn't enough, he wanted to step up even more. Plus the AWP. He's like, okay, yeah, Stewie misses both shots. That I don't know how I don't know how the first one's not a hit. And you know, no scope, that's just uh just rolling the dice at that point, but even with those two missed shots, everyone else is there to provide. Fallen's 11 and 3. Device trying to get this cross shot, and he won't hit it today. Could... Oh, that's that's one way to do it. Stewie gets tagged. Hampers, same story. That's in, Yeah, like Stewie even trades a tag through yeah. the wall. I mean... Sure, take it. And onto a, a rifler as well is even better, arguably, right? It's not like Hampers is going to take the orb now. Ooh. My, oh my. Fallen always keeping it fresh. We haven't really seen him contend with these long doors yet. Plopsky's out of there. And Fallen, hearing that flash with no peak coming off the back of it, he might start to get suspicious soon. He might start to give this a look in. Now, it does make me somewhat nervous. Having Fallen to anchor long could cause problems if they cat take, right? You've only got Grim in the sight. Fallen doesn't have flashes for Grim either. And he won't be able to just up and leave long to come back and help. You've always got to keep holding this, especially with a cat exec, when you don't know the numbers. So Grim is, is very much alone in this sight hold. But Nip aren't going oh, through oh. cap. They're coming out middle. And there's a liege with an opener. Grim will remove one of these A players. And Liege is popping. Oh. Device with a double. There's Stewie to trade it out. And it's all left onto Linus, who's barreling towards B as we speak. Stewie will nice. get dropped. And Linus is given a chance at the 1v3 clutch. He's got full nades. He can smoke off door. He just needs to get tunnels, right? The flank is coming in yet again. In fact, it's a double trouble for Liquid. Linus, will he realize in time? 
trying to smoke off the tunnel. Liquor will have to go through. They can throw nades if they'd like. Or just jump together. Oh, oh. Linus! Lines him up, knocks him down, and finds Nip a second round. It's about damn time as well. I've kind of had enough of them getting shot in the side from these tunnels flanks, right? So Linus hears the footsteps before they've even hit the ground from jumping through that smoke. He puts them in the dirt. It's more like it. This guy's been very quiet in this game, right? Very, very quiet. One and eight before this round. What a transfer. They both jump through. Ah. Oh. That's going to hurt for Liquid, but it shows like, you know, the fact that you go for that play and you don't use any util, obviously your element of surprise is part of it, but man, you're feeling, aren't you? Grim, he's going to be feeling something in a second. They're coming his way. A lot of teams oh chasing him. Fast, right oh. fast. There's two guys at long are going to worry about. There they are, oh showing their hand. Grim, oh. the man, and it's only device a long way from home. Grim, uh, talk about a revenge story for him there. I just, oh, big Grimothy. Laying down the pain, device, an impossible oh. clutch, or so you might like to think. Oh. And there's Stewie set up by Naf's flash to lock in at 10 on the board for Team Liquid. This is one hell of a game. How does he hit all three of these? They never even had to worry about the other player. I don't even know who it was, Harry. Rez. 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 No, no, no. The other player at long. Oh, the other the guy at long. Who knows? Sorry, I thought you meant Rez no. who pushed through the uh, long smoke. No. Rez got through, fallen kills, and there's another long player for Liquid behind the smoke that also never needed yeah, I'm pretty to sure do it was Naf fly over Makes at sense. long. Doesn't matter, though, does it? Grim needs no help, needs no assistance. And it's a good day for NA. Enjoy it while it lasts. Hell, maybe it will last the entire group. And I would not be against this liquid in this form for every match. Let's see if they can close out the first. Still looking for a 2-0. Full on with the flick. What do you think? Yeah. Woo! Rez on the receiving end of it. The professor is in. And they did not like him, for he told the truth. Ah! He laid down the pain. Grim. They're going to have to do more than that to get him out of the pit. Oh, and the flashes, oh, perfect. the flashes. You are dead, Device. A oh. with a transfer of his own. And now, more prescriptions getting written. They're handing out medicine that Nip were trying to deal to them. That little Linus transfer looks like nothing now with some of these rifle rounds we've had out of Grimm and Elyse. Yeah, I just don't know what to say anymore. This is every single round for Liquid. As soon as Nip get one, Liquid coming with a flawless follow-up. Great synergy, great cohesion. Flashing was fallen there for Grim. And right out long now, Nip want to try and up the ante, up the pace. This has not gone well for them in the past. The Liege going through the smoke. Everyone's blind, including him. And uh, Grim will die after only one. Now it's gone well. Even a top mid push for Stewie. We're starting to get a bit feisty, are we, Liquid? Four on two, though, against them. I'm not counting anything out. Not in this game. But Nip, they're in the best position they've had in rounds. Yeah, if they... If Hampus probes the B site and, and they rotate back, then Nip have got this in the bag, right? You're just left saving on the side of Team Liquid. But they've taken the bomb to long. Hampus oh, is going to get this nice, info ahead yeah. of time. Uh, and that's big, right? Just don't commit to these long fights. Just stand your ground. Hampus is getting you the info. And now you learn that, yeah, it's probably a double setup over here on A. So you get out of there, you go rejoin Hampus Nip. Yeah, they've got this one, right? Pretty much all danger's been avoided now. And Team Liquid, on the back of really the money alone, yeah. should just be saving here. I mean, you could argue it, yeah, but at the same time, they can kind of buy next, right? They'll, like, they'll have four out of five. Depends on the orbs. I wouldn't be surprised if Liquid poked their head in, you know? But from position alone, yeah. You're probably, you're probably right, Harry. Does seem like a lock-in. Got no loss bonus. But you do have a bit of bank. So, yep, just hold on. Just get out of there. Give Nip the respect that they definitely deserve in this round. Four on two. And the B-side locked in. Liquid hold off for now. But, man, they had 11-4 in the first half of Inferno. That went fine. Do you know why? They don't have any loss bonus as well. Because Team Liquid stay winning, yeah. right? This every is, day. Yeah, yeah, this is it, man. This is a, a very, very good look. Now, for Nip, they're trying once again to salvage a four-round half. It's a hard sentence to choke down. 
for a nip fan. But there's always still hope, Harry. There's always hope. And uh, hell, Nip made that last game, you know, a little concerning. Like they got a, they got five rounds on the CT side. They started really strong. I think they went like 4-0 up, 5-0 up, and then it started to fall apart. But yeah, oh sorry, on T side, I mean, second half. So they did manage to make that game interesting, even if it was only for a moment. That being said, this fourth, it means everything to Nip. Oh, okay, device. Now he's starting to feel it. Starting to tag, folks, crossing. Sadly, it comes in round 15. Finally, he's able to get some damage off from that. And Fallen still with this orb. Oh, that's nice to Hampus. Was never even, never even knew what hit him till it was too late. They get out through long, but once again, Grim is over here in the pit. And this guy never wants to give you an inch of ground. Here are those flashes again. This time he's a little overzealous, peeking ahead of him, but the second flash fixes that. And it's all on Therese, 1v4. He's trapped in a corner. He's a dead man walking. And so yeah, he's not just winning them out, he's dominating. Interested in early tag from Rez onto Fall and all the way back in T spawn. <laughs> so that's him down low. You want to try and get that utility out of him while you still can. I mean, nothing's going right for Nip. Had he 90 damage, a USP headshot. Oh, Ooh. that's more like it. Ooh, that's more like bit it. Bit of style from Device. That's what they need. And now you just give it up, right? You fall back, you play safe, lean into your bomb sights. Wait for Liquid to commit. Wherever they go, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. As long as you don't give them a way back in. Popsky's tempting fate. With a couple of pot shots off up against the PT-50. Does Fallen want to molly him? Can he get it down? Smoke will give him a bit of cover. No need for a Molotov. It's going anyway. Here they come out the tunnels. Still two more to clear. Stewie falling into Linus. And he's still going to hit the shot with the USP. It's just now. And I say just. Oh my goodness, yeah, Nap's making a mad dash across. Oh, he's going to repeat the Stewie technique, and he does tuck himself in. Still alive. Nap at 14 HP. He sees in slow motion, and he moves at double time, but it's device to triple up in that pistol to find a round for NIP. Yeah, the openers and the closers, that's more like device, but, you know, the same thing happened back on Inferno with, uh, with a, you know, even more favorable scoreline nip. They gave us a bit of faith, they gave us a bit to believe in, but Liquid eventually snatched it away, and I have uh, expectation they're looking to do the same here. Glocks, Liquid just want those guns as soon as they can get them. Device, he'll go for the USP. Wants his AWP out ASAP just as much. Rez has made it into lower now. I think that may have been spotted from Stewie back in spawn. No, it hasn't. Grim is not considering. So freebie for Rez. But it was always going to be a bit of a mop-up, a mow-down, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my God. Device almost dead to the Glock. Stink to 30. Will win his fight thanks to Hampus. And it's basically done. Yeah, but that was the easy round, right? That was the, the, the freebie round. We're going to get to have that device sort right away. You highlighted it already, played USP. That was a, a flush around, right? USP armor, fighting them in middle. Almost dying to Glocks. Now we get that big green gun out right away. Fallen, donning a scout to try and go up against device. It's yeah. ballsy. I think when you see the USP, you know what to expect here. Maybe you would have gone with a rifle. Like we've seen some AK usage earlier from Fallen was looking crisp, but when you know the orbs in play, you oh. want to be able to fight down bit, especially when you're feeling it, feeling confident. Who's going to win this? Surely the orb, right? Surely. Or maybe device just gives it up. Wise mind not wanting to go down a man in such an important rifle round. Yeah, especially not with the big investment, right? Like the almost five grand gun versus the little $1,700 one shooting at you from T-spawn. It's just not a risk that you want to take on. Oh and my Lee's, God. Jeez, Louise, leave Rez alone, mate. He's turned on him through the smoke and opens the round up for Team Liquid. This might force Nip to, to really have to turtle up in these bomb sites, right? Split 2-2, two, two, concede a lot of this mid control and a lot of the information that comes with it. Team Liquid, wherever they go, they're gonna find themselves in, you know, a five on two. And if they get those kills and they're able to trade it favorably, then that's the round.
Yeah, really, there's no one even fighting right now. Are you going to play a retake setup, or can Hampus get back to drop Util in time? Like, he's right below. He's hoping they drop into spawn. It's a common play, but if he's not set up and ramped in time, this might just be a round decided by the Util. Here come Liquid. Quick up. Hampus gets back just about. Dropping a smoke is going to buy a few more seconds. Popsky flashing behind him. Hampus can't really do anything with it, though. The smokes are down. There's so much cover. Is that a good or a bad thing? Hampus about to find out. Two kills. He's still tucked in close. Make that three. Hampus climbs over and he dishes death into the A site. Four frags for Hampus. And that's one way to get a bit of a hold. Four on five for Nip, and they make it work. That's unreal. I, <laughs> I don't know how he did you, that. <laughs> you can't count on that every day, right? No. But, you know, and the flashes definitely helped in that. I think, you know, they were so fixated on the liquid side of just getting in. No one's playing anti-flash. No one's considering the volley of flashes that were going to come their way. And Hampus does a really nice job with this smoke down, <laughs> just playing around it and using it to his advantage. See Res saying, Hampus! How? How has he done that? Device picks fallen out of midair. And it's only Deeks. It was only ever going to be Deeks. Sees a Legion. Runs right back, does Hampus. Fine with a 5v4. Yeah, you've only got flashes here, so uh, you're, you're just going to try and flash yourself in Catwalk, see if you can get away with absolute murder. Up here on the AWP drop-down spot is Hampus, while Device Whoa. is all the way back at Goose, setting him up with a flash. He takes a peek on the back of it, but it's only good for one. You'll take those kind of numbers if you're Team Liquid. Now you're hoping you can deal with this AWP, but that's where Plopsky complicates matters, and nice. Device knocks them out of the round. Never gets out of control, and IP look good throughout. So now up onto seven. Much like Inferno, they're starting to close this gap. We have to see if Liquid can spring back now. This is their first fall by with everything they would have possibly needed, right? The AWP on Fallen, no longer a scout. Four AKs and full utility. Now's the time to regain control if you're Team Liquid. Maybe we have this aggro B push. Uh, Liquid did it once in the first half. Nip are doing it straight away, and it couldn't be at a bit of timing. Liquid just bait peaked B, and then they went lower. Nip ha now have all the info in the round. They know exactly where Liquid sit just by process of elimination, and that's what they're looking to do. Linus, backstab moment. How many can he get? That's the question. Would love more than one. A leech back turn right now. Stewie dead. Leech turns, and Linus takes it and runs. Cut and dry. One for none. And now Liquid just have to go. Yeah, it's awkward when you see that, because now you know that Nip know Ooh. it's not a B play. And with Plopsky holding down the long doors, this long crossfire is despicable. The short guys managed to get in. The no, Fallen, what? 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 Five um, kills in two seconds. This whole round just went by in the blink of an eye. But look at Fallen, he dropped into CT with the AWP. I thought he was dead. He dropped into CT with the AWP, and he's jumping around, getting shot in the feet. And he, I hope we have the replay of, of I, all yeah. of these. <laughs> machines than we could afford. He drops in the CT, starts getting shot in the foot. And then he killed the B rotate. And then he killed the second guy coming from B. Everyone dies. Oh my, what? Team Liquid. That is a loins warming round. <laughs> Take a look at this. Fallen back on it again, baby. Oh. And it's Rez on the receiving end this time around. That was a 3v5, just so you know. That was a 3v5 that ended in an instant. You don't see rounds like that often. Everyone wins a fight. Everyone wins two fights. <laughs> How the <laughs> hell have they it done it? It was so fast, you couldn't have even begun to capture all of those kills. Like, that is a <laughs> whirlwind of a round. Device now with this second AWP in the server for Nip. Missed shot on the, uh, on the first man in. All right, all with right. a response. And with Big Fallen removed, Maybe there's a chance after all. Ooh, we have some gross flashbangs for long, but they actually don't go with it. They lean back to B, running the rotate round. Maybe we're just seeing if Nash checking out for aggro B play. That flash is so nice as well. Gets the AWP off the angle and lets Grim cross out along. And Nip don't know what they missed. Did they miss a lower jump to Cat? Did they miss the opposite? Hampers 
holds on to middle. The rest of his team setting up this YouTube, but they're going to drop back. They're going to go into that beat play. The Naf is just taken. So he drops spawn and Happers holds strong. Double kill in middle with three in the round. Now it's down to the rest of Liquid to pick up the pieces. Yeah, and towards B, they're going to try and go. Naf and Elise with the push. Linus, even one here would be fine. He's hoping for more than that, and Devices flashes. Will set him up nicely to close that round for NIP. He on the board, they're refusing to let go, refusing to give up. And so it's another eco round for Team Liquid. It's confidence boosting for Linus, right? When he's been in these important key moments, you know, that 1v3. Boy, they're going to have to be sick with Fallen on the other side. to flash to get an orb off cap and Nipper only just getting here with theirs bringing it onto the short side Fallen still has mid on lock he's going to wait here a while it's a slow round out of liquid they've seen aggression they've seen some of these B pushes they don't want to let it happen again and so Nip will offer them nothing Ooh. low damage stinks everyone's happy Love this from Fallen. Ooh. Holding this tiny pixel angle, but they will just smoke him off. Whenever you hear that orb raining out, no one wants to face it. Now the rest of the squad get up cap, but you've still got Grim waiting back in tunnels. You've still got Naf in top mid holding for a long push. So your options are, are, are open, but you're also spread pretty thin. It looks like Stewie might be attempting one of these CT drops again. It's the vibe I'm getting with him left on Cat all alone. And now they start to take this mid to B angle, right? They could just look to explode through the tunnels, out through middle, into the B site. That's where Rez Orps is. That's also where Linus sits. Rez gonna try and get set up in the window, nice. and he struck the first man from the tally. Hampus going through the CT smoke, shoots them in the back, and this round is all but falling apart. Elige, last Here. man standing, put in the ground. NIP up onto nine. Man, we're having teams, you know, struggling to get these T-side closers on the board. Nip pulling it back in. Nine rounds, that's as many as they managed in that first map, right? Couldn't quite get back into double digits in the second half in their T side of Inferno. Right now they're making things interesting. Liquid, uh, another round just swept past them. Liquid fast out long instead. Flash is going to meet them there, but no nip players as they use that opportunity to back up, put distance between themselves and the pistols. Device on car. And now they re-aggro. Now they realize the foot aren't committing. So they'll meet them there. Elise dodges the flash preemptive turn, but it's still Popsky with a kill. And Stewie needs a deep shot. But this round is to be winnable. Hampus trades, though. Down a man and back to middle. There's still two CTs here. Yeah, and these B plays have not been your friend. Out they go. Now getting spotted, the AWP device removes Fallen. That was the bomb as well. And the AWPs are just showing up in spades all of a sudden for NIP. It took them bringing out two to be able to go toe to toe with Fallen on the side of Liquid. But can't argue with the results here. They're, they're coming in clutch in so many of these rounds. Wherever you go, you're running into these AWPs and they're causing you problems. Yeah, you're suddenly forgetting this 12-3 scoreline, right? Remember that? Remember the first half? Felt like nothing could go wrong for Liquid. And, well, now everything is. Creed down middle for Nav. Does get a bit of a tag onto Linus. Scope v. Scope. But the orbs are still yet to fire. So we've got to watch out in the middle. The flashbang does get the orb off the angle, sending Rez back to B, leaving device at the cross where he's often to be expected. Liquid, they've really been focused on these mid to Bs, right? All game, they've really just been trying to hammer at home the B execute. And Nip have not let them in. They've had good responses, smoke pushes, crossfires from the door window. And so is that going to be continued, this effort to be for Liquid, or will they try and go into device knowingly? Oh, there is this, like, tiny bit of tunnels aggression. Will Nip 
move all the way in. It's really not uncommon to try and take tunnels late in the round for the info. And Rez is creeping forward. Grim okay. has waited here all damn round. They're now in. Oh. Grim, he's seen the barrel. There's the first. Oh, not quite good for the double. But that's going to throw a seed of doubt into the minds of Nip now. They're starting Maybe to get drop. a little bit worried. 40 seconds as the cat push is looking to come in. Device is the last line of defense over at the crossroads. I've seen him do phenomenal things from this position, but he's blinded off the angle by those flashes. The bomb can go down here for Team Liquid. The nades are doing Whoa! a lot of damage. A liege almost burnt out by it. Flashed off the angle, and now they're fighting for this control again. No! Oh, a liege might be hurt by the molly, but he goes on to get two kills that matter so much. Shutting down the option of this retake for Nip. Now both players coming in through CT. Elise is still looking no. for more. The accidental jump, but he's not yet punished for it. They lose now, no. but Elise goes on to close the round from burning in a molly to 9 HP to tripling up to find 14 for his team. That's a hero round, man. And the bomb drop as well. He knows if he dies in the molly or if he, you know, he has to swing back to default. If he gets shot, the bomb can go anywhere, like off the ramp. He can lose the round, right? Instead, he's throws it back to his teammates in his supposed dying breath, but he doesn't die, killing Plopsky, and Device is holding long for a late lurk. Device is, is sitting there fully open to the site, thinking, yeah, man, Plopsky's got my back, and he does, but both kills come through so quick for a liege, the Device never has time to turn around. No time to react. Two more to find for the 2-0. Back to one-op for Nip as well. Yeah, back to no ops for Team Liquid. So device has a lot more freedom. Don't have to worry about Fallen bearing down upon you. And so what's gonna, what's device gonna do with this newfound freedom? Currently very, very content to take mid fights. The Xbox smoke goes in as a nade in response, doing some damage onto the player that's looking to abuse that smoke. And immediately nip a three strong over in A. Cat control taken again. This is the same T side default that they could have ran in the majority of these rounds, right? Grim holding the tunnels. He's vacated that already. So this is looking like another catwalk commitment out of Team Liquid. Device is Molly gonna make it weird. Stewie is ahead of that Molotov. And so some of his teammates come to join him, but they take what? a lot of damage. Fallen dead at the back. Stewie on the attack is traded after one. They've got Plopsky pincered. They've got him out on an island and they're keen to take that fight while it's available. Everyone's rotating through CT, but because of Naf's position, you know this is the case. You know that no one's coming short. The Molly really does a lot of damage, man. Liquid. Getting toasted again, but yeah. still living to tell the tale. Nav needs to get into position. He has a molly for the bomb. Stop He's behind the smoke is Grim. Yeah, this is going to be weird. Grim's got to get the kills. He's stalling it out as long as he can. No need to peek. Linus is expecting Cat. Why would he not? That's the expected rotation of Naf. Now he's walking up spawn to win the round. Linus, he can chase down Grim. He should still be scared of Catwalk. And he is as Naf puts the knife in the back. Liquid find 15. It looks weird, but it's the last thing that Nip expects. Being real, like, I know Naf is the guy to go on a close the round. Grim deserves all the praise for yeah. staying alive so long, for getting it to a 1v2 in the first place. If that's a two on if that's a two-on-one and Grim dies immediately, like he's like four health as well while he's fighting this, then the Naf never even gets a chance yeah. to play that. He was oh, too no. far away. And so now the money is gone for NIP. Best this ending, is Liquid's yeah. best chance to close it, and they might look to end it all on the back of a B play. I thought they were going to run in, man. Maybe they would have if Fallen hit a cross shot or called a tag, anything. Would have been one way to close a map and series. Instead, Liquid hold off and lower. That's fine. They know Nip don't have a lot. Even if they don't know the specifics. A couple of Deagles, a couple of Scouts, an info denial smoke here on the hinge. It's still going to be a B play after all. Stewie selling it. Linus flashed out. And as long as they go soon, Linus will re never realize exactly what's going on. There's the spot. Device in the right place towards B. Molly now would love a double with a Molly. He shields his vision. And there's as well. They can't see him. Linus is coming in on the flank already. Liquid are barely out the tunnels. Another hit for Device. Tags a liege. But Liquid are in the bomb site and ready to close. 
Linus and Plopski, they're the two that have to do it. They're the two that have to keep the dream alive for NIP. And Liquid will not give you these fights oh. for free. Oh. Naf, merciless in the execution of Linus. It's all on to Plopski. He's lost in the smoke, lost in the sauce. And Naf, sure he's dead. Plopski still got to go against the grey and against the odds. 1v2 with Fallen holding the window.